Welcome to my new garden. <laughs> I'm Rama of Tommy Room and welcome to another episode on our channel. Yay! Today's episode is all about taking care of your indoor garden. So I'm going to go around my garden. I'm going to take care of it. And hopefully as I tour you around my space, you'll be able to get some tips on how to take care of your own gardens. So yeah, disclaimer, you won't be seeing my new garden. You'll be seeing my old garden because we recently transferred to a new space. Um, hopefully you get to see that episode soon. But for now, join me as I tend to my old garden for the very last time. And jump on. So here, I'm going to trim yung mga dead leaves, etc. And why is it important to trim? Kasi kahit anong gawin natin, yung mga dead leaves, yung mga yellow leaves, yung mga dried leaves, hindi na siya gaganda. So might as well cut them, remove them, so that all the nutrients of your soil, your fertilizer, your water, etc. goes to actual healthy leaves. And don't be afraid to cut because plants love when they're being trimmed and cut. Not always a good mom, a plant mom, as you can see by the state of my yucca. But I hope it doesn't discourage you to plant. Uh, be kind to yourself. You're learning. What's important is that you're trying. Hopefully, if I get another tabletop yucca in the future, it won't look like this anymore. I think this is underwater because it's dry. I'm so sorry, yucca. So, don't be intimidated guys, kahit kala nyo mong parang ang maganda ng garden. We are really just trying our best. Parang kinalbo ko na siya guys. <laughs> this one guys, feeling ko na overwater siya. And I think hindi maganda yung drainage system na pot because it's still wet. If this continues, most likely we need to repot it to survive. And they're almost at ako na natin lahat sa leaves niya. But that's how it is. So I have this plant armor from Luna Maya. It's all organic, natural, and then this one, thief spray from Luna Mai also. So. Let's try to salvage this plant. This neat plant is not happy. Oh my god. As you can see, it is not happy. But, oh gosh. See, it's dead. I've never successfully done it, but I'll try. According to them, this one you can just put in soil and it will grow roots. Before I tried putting it in water, pero nabulok siya. So, that's the fun sana. Part of taking care of a garden is experimenting and learning along the way. My office 
slash garden. Dito usually ako nang propagate sa bote. So, I'm going to show you that I'm fixing some of those that I propagated already. And then, yung iba kasi may mga roots na. Unfortunately, hindi ko pa sila naasikaso. So, that's what I'm going to do today. See? Medyo marami na siyang roots ka. So, and this one is, I think, is not good na. Unfortunately, I don't have time to fix them. So, now ko lang siya mafi-fix. Shiny! So, ito may mga, may mga roots na siya. You always need to change the water kasi water has oxygen and if you replenish the water, meron silang bagong oxygen for the roots which is good for the plants. So, I'm going to change the water. Hindi masyadong marami yung plant na pwede kong i-propagate dito sa house. So what I do is I cut. Kita nyo to guys. These are nodes. The nodes already have roots, right? So pwede nyo siya directly dito nyo putulin. And from dito, na pagputol mo, tutubuan siya ulit. So, huwag kayo matakot magputol. So, every 2 to 3 inches dito sa ating pothos ay merong node. Pwede kahit saan mag-cut sa nodes niyan. So, pothos is one of the easiest plants to propagate and take care of. Usually, pag naglilinas ako ng garden, I propagate. Para sa akin, kapag may bote na empty, parang mas better na lagyan mo lang siya ng halaman, parang nagpapatubo ko na ng halaman, etc. Kaysa naman, nakatenga lang siya. I'm going to show you how to propagate. Cut the extra stem, you see? Below the node. Kasi mabubulok na lang to. So, we cut that. And then, we remove the lower leaves kasi pag sinamerge natin siya sa water, mabubulok yung leaves. So, yan. Meron tayong two node points na pwedeng tubuan ng roots. After, we put it there. And then, we put it in water. Another way is like this. If you want more plant from a long stem. You can do that also. I'm going to show you how. Instead of just removing the lower leaves, what we'll do is that each node point can be a mini plant. Kasi lahat yan pwedeng tubuan ng roots. So that's also one way to propagate plants with nodes. Diba kanina yung lower leaf lang ang tinanggal natin, tas dun tutubo. Now, each leaf pwedeng tubuan ng roots. So, it really depends on what your objective is when you're propagating. Do you want more plants or do you want your plant to be cascading already when it grew roots? So, pwede rin yun. And then, we look for a small bottle. And then, we submerge this in water later. There. Most of the bottles are filled. The next step is to put water and then display them. Diba? Sobrang dali lang, guys. Imagine that you can do that in your own home and grow your own plants. You don't have to buy them if you already have pothos. Right? You just have to know how to do it. And it's really simple. You can also do... The same method for some plants like the Swiss cheese. 
Monstera. You can see there are nodes here. I've cut it before. Let me show you the cut there. And it grew back. Oopsie. Oh, sorry, plant. <sighs> Ang hirap ng DIY video, guys. Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry, plant. I'm so sorry, dear plant. So you can see, my node point siya. I'm not sure if nasaktan siya. <laughs> Hopefully, hindi. And then this point will submerge in water. And then hopefully from this cut, mago grow siya ulit ng leaves. This is what we cut earlier. And then same for the pothos. There you go. My other one, I planted directly on the soil. Now we'll do water first because I don't have soil anymore. <laughs> And this is the Swiss cheese monstera that I cut initially from the main plant. I did the same for my monstera. Now you can see that it's growing from the cut. This is the monstera plant that I cut from the main plant. It can stand on its own. And I think there's growth also. So I'm excited to see that. Don't be afraid to cut, guys. Hi, hey guys. So next to do for my garden is, of course, water plants that need watering. For now, let me just show you that I'm watering them. water them kapag tanghalis kasi parang masyashock sila masyadong mainit and then may water in case you're wondering I mean trying to germinate seeds through the plastic container method ganyan na po talaga kalala guys gusto nyo po bang malaman kung anong naman ang bag ko this is my everyday bag, guys. Ah. I don't know why I have my seeds with me. Ah, look. Yan po ang laman ng aking bag. Hindi po yung usual na laman ng mga bag. Ano po bang big chunk of my bag? This one. At ano po ba siya? OMG. More planting stuff. Okay, planting ba to? Yes. Kasi ito yung pantali ko for my creepy crawly plants. Soldering iron for my pots para magaroon ng butas ang aking plastic containers. Garden scissors. <laughs> my God, bakit po may dalang plant shampoo sa bag ko? Meron po talaga. Mini shovel for the greenhouse project. Oh my god, medyo nakakahiya. But, dala ko po siya. Ganyan po ang level ng plantitahan ko po. Sobra no guys, parang nagsimula ako siguro mga 4 dyan sa scenes na yun, mga 4 or 3 and then gabi na ako natapos and then I almost forgot the most important part which is diligan yung aking garden so there, sobra talaga siyang matrabaho to take care of the garden eventually you'll get the hang of it and you learn to enjoy it hindi na siya magiging work 
And then, if you see new growth, ganyan. Mas lalo ka may enganyo. Ay lang. But it really takes time to take care of your garden. So, in case you're wondering why hindi tumutubo yung mga plants nyo, etc. Ganyan. Baka kulang lang siya sa love. So, hopefully may nakuha kayo from today's episode. And I'm so excited to show you my new garden in future episodes. But for now, bye!